Welcome to the next one, the sources and field. So, as we study in the first chapters, right, the laparoscopics and the field, right. So, from that we are going to take the charge, the source of the field produces an electric field. Yes, we have seen in the first chapters, right. So, we can write the electric field vector E is equal to capital Q divided by 4 pi epsilon into R cap divided by R square. So, the Q is the charge. R cap is the unit vector along the direction of R and E is the electric field vector, okay? And R is the distance, right? And this E, this electric field is interacted with another one charge. So, I am going to take another charge. A charge Q interacts with this field. This field doesn't, this electric field and experiences a force. Whenever we are Placing a charge in a field that experiences force, that is called Lorentz force, we are going to see later onwards. So, a charge Q which interacts with the electric field and experiences a force, F, F is also a vector point. So, we can write F vector is equal to Q into E, right? F vector is equal to Q into E vector. What is this equation? We studied in the first chapters, the force on a test charge, right? The force on a test charge. We can write F is equal to QE. So Q we have, E value we have here. So substitute over here. So small Q capital Q divided by 4 pi F on R, R cap divided by R square. Right? And this E can convey the energy and momentum. And it takes finite time to propagate. It takes finite time to propagate. The electric field of car is moving from one place to another place. That takes finite time to propagate and this E can be varied with respect to time that's why it's leading in electromagnetism that's why the Faraday and Maxwell give the brief introduction about the unification of electricity and magnetism so only these two persons are developing that area of electromagnetism electricity and magnetism is unification that give electromagnetism and the current are moving charges. The current are moving charges produces magnetic field. We are saying that B of R. Okay, B of R. That magnetic field is also a vector quantity, vector field. Right? So E is vector, F is vector, and the magnetic field B is also vector. Right. And suppose here we are choosing one charges. Suppose if you have more number of charges, what we can do? Yes, as we studied in the first chapter, superposition principle. We should sum up all the vector quantity, right? Yes, that gives the superposition principle. Similarly, we will have, if you are interact with more charges, then the magnetic field also, we are adding as vector form and in the vector addition. So, principle of superposition, the magnetic field of several sources several sources is the vector addition of magnetic field of each individual sources. Yes, so we are going to add all those vector addition of magnetic field for each and every individual sources. And this is the source and field and next we move on to magnetic force, Lorentz force. Yes, I hope you understand well this concept.